Hey there viewers, it's Charlie I'm back again with another Transformers review. And today's review is going to be on Shattered Glass Collection Starscream. Yeah, I'm actually doing another Shattered Glass review. I mean like uh, what was the last time I did one of those, huh? But I also just got Goldbug uh, today as of the time of recording, so Expect a review of him soon. So, yeah. Now, taking a look at the box for Starscream. Of course, we've got the Shy Glass Collection uh, box, so... Got a picture of Starscream's face here. Got his name. Got the Shattered Decepticon insignia there. This side we've got a picture of Starscream. This side another picture of Starscream with his name. In the back we've got a picture of him in both modes. We've got a bio of Starscream. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the box. And also included if you buy this from Hasbro Pulse. It's a comic! So yeah. That's really cool. I do have the first five issues, which I just bought normally. Don't have the, the other five issues yet though. Of course we've got Goldbug, got Jetfire there. Yeah, it's kind of a, it is sort of a dark storyline though. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't read it, though. And we're looking at the figure. Well, of course, it's a recolor of Siege Starscream in Jetfire colors. Well, G1 Jetfire colors. So, of course, we've got the white. We've got the red here. The Decepticon insignia is... Well, it... Of course, the Shattered Glass Decepticon Sick Gear is the basis for my profile picture, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm quite a huge fan of the Tetra Jet uh, vehicle modes. I just love how it looks. So having a 360 of this. Of course, the back, we've got the uh, faux cockpit here for the robot mode. But we've also got the uh, boosters that you can plug some blast effects into. And just get some blast effects out from my uh, tub. There we go. So, of course, you can just plug in some blast effects. And the blue color from, I'm pretty sure these are from Kingdom Ronimus. They actually kind of fit with this figure. So you can have that look going on. Or you can have like the more longer effects from I guess Siege Jetfire or in my case the Ark from Kingdom. Yeah, on this side the wing doesn't really tab in that well. I think that's like a QC issue, unfortunately. But, as you'll see later on, that's the least of my worries. Underneath, we pretty much just have the robot folded up. It's got the legs here, we've got the arms. So, yeah. If you see right buried in there, we've got a flight, a flight stand port, so... If I could just get my actual flight stand, bear with me. This might not work. Well, I can't really get it plugged in, but I can still seat it on the flight stand. Although, yeah, this might not work. It's There we go. <laughs> 
So we can actually have it look like he's uh, flying, which is pretty cool. So yeah, and for accessories, well, of course, we've got the standard null rays, which, you can, which pretty much every version of this mold comes with. These can just go into here. Like so. I can just... There we go. That pretty much, that pretty much just completes the look, in my opinion. And of course, this being a siege mold, siege introducing the blast effects. Of course, you can plug in some blast effects, and I think that just looks really cool. But Shadow Glass Starscream also comes with two other accessories: these swords. So yeah. This guy is a swordsman, I guess. And these can just plug under the wings. And of course, seeing how, I, seeing how I'm on camera, I'm gonna make a, an ass of this. There we go. Now, I'm pretty sure this is meant to reference how like the uh, original Shadow Glass Starscream figure was a recolor of Cybertron Starscream, the uh, like not the big supreme one, the uh, Voyager one. And if you remember Cybertron Starscream, of course he, like his wings were, well if you plug in the Cyber Key, like swords uh, c come out. So I'm pretty sure this is meant to reference that. So, yeah, probably also why they chose uh, this mold instead of Earthrise Starscream, which I'm all for because, well, as I said, I do like uh, the Siege Starscream mold, even though I don't, like, this is my second uh, version of the mold, but yeah, just... Taking off the swords, you can also do something else with them. Even though it's more for the robot mode. These can also combine into a bigger sword. I don't know, this could maybe be like a Star Saber. Sort of like what Armada Starscream uses. Foreshadowing a future review. But, yeah, this doesn't really hold together that well. I, I don't know if it's like my copy or what, but... Yeah, the connection... It's not really that great. So, yeah. But, well, for comparison, here he is with the Siege Starscream. So you can see the color differences. And we can see that this guy does actually have some added color. Like, because he's got some added uh, detailing here with the red. Some added, uh, I guess, vent detailing here on the... Well, uh, vent detailing, but some added uh, colors on the wings. As you can see here. So, yeah. But you can see the differences on the... on the back here, what's going to be the chest. So, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the... vehicle mode, so moving on to the robot mode. So, to get this guy transformed, well, you can do it with the null rays attached, but I find it's easier to just remove them, and 
of course, you can plug them into different uh, ports. You can plug them into the wings, you can plug them into the sides of the arms, but I just prefer to plug them into the shoulders for the jet mode. But while removing the null rays, tilting my camera up, I'm just going to start by getting the faux cockpit out. I mean, it's the Siege Tetra Jet transformation. If you're, I'm pretty sure you know how this works by now. But we're just going to take the back boosters, lift that up, get the wings up. Like so. And if you move that, then we pretty much just have a crumpled up robot. Get the arms out like so. Move the legs down, rotate the waist, open up the feet and the heels, and of course we've got the boosters, which, well, instead of laser feet, this time we're going to be having rocket feet. <laughs> Move this down, and if if you remember my Siege Star Scream, then, well, this constantly came off, so it's nice to see that this is... Uh, Fixed on uh, later releases. Try and split this apart, which is actually really hard. I don't know why, but this is practically just fused into place. And unless you have like long fingernails, you're gonna need like an act an actual tool to help you uh, split this. So, yeah, apologies if I spend like five minutes trying to split the the jet uh, nose cone because, yeah, this is a really awkward piece for me trying to split this. Normally I'd pause this, but, yeah, you just need to get like a fingernail in there, try and get something in there. Like, normally I'd use, like, a butter knife, but I don't have one on me right now. But I just need to... Okay, you have fingernails in there. Try and get something in there. And, yeah, I'm just going to pause. Otherwise, we'll be here for, like, what, five to ten minutes? <laughs> well, I actually did manage to get that split. It sprung up my hands. If I, I'll try and reenact it. It sprung up my hands, and... Attacked the Siege Star Scream. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you want to just split this open and just flip these around. And then these actually become the shoulder intakes that Star Scream is famous for. Well, the shoulder intakes that are normally a part of Star Scream's silhouette. Once again, these are not going to tap in. There we go. And we're nearly done. Just get the wings into place. Move them up however you want. And finally, open this up. Extend out the arm. Get the hand out. Second verse, as the famous uh, Transformers reviewer would say. Same as the first. And then to complete the look, we're just going to take the Norays and plug them into his shoulders. And well, here we've got Shattered Glass Starscream in his robot mode. And yeah, at first glance, this guy looks quite good. Notice how I said at first glance. We'll get into that soon. But yeah, a star scream in Jetfire colors. That's actually a cool concept, especially seeing how star scream and Jetfire were once good friends according to G1 lore. However, once we get to the 360, can you see that? 
maybe if I show here, you see that joint there? That's yellowed. Like compared to some of the plastic here, that's a milky kind of yellow. And that's not from him sh uh, sitting on the shelf for a wee while. It was like that from the box. So yeah. This guy is one of those figures that just yellows immediately. And that that brings this guy down quite a bit. For quite a lot of people actually. This is This is like one of the poster childs for for yellowing. Like seriously. I mean, I think in my case it's not as bad as some other people because there's some cases where it's like really noticeable in these bits, whereas in my case it's mainly just this bit. But still, it's still it's still disappointing. Uh, oh well, ignoring that for now at least. Looking at the head. It's not retooled, but it's still sort of, I guess, captures Starscream, just, it's still a frown, but I guess it's sort of like a stoic, like, good guy kind of frown, like, ugh, screw the bad guys kind of frown, whereas with this guy, it was like a, yeah, I hate Megatron kind of frown, you know? I don't know what this guy would sound like, maybe like, Armada Starscream or something, I don't know. But, if you see, we actually got light piping, if I can get it to work. But yeah, like, this guy actually does have light piping. Or, no, maybe the eyes are painted over. Yeah, it sort of looks like the eyes are painted over, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, wow. I guess he makes up for it with, like, the cool Decepticon insignia, aka my profile picture, on his chest. Which means this guy is a fan of my content. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, for weaponry, well, of course, we've got the Null Rays on, on his, uh, oh, 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 uh, oh my throat just, my throat just completely gave up there, but we've got the, the, the Null Rays on his arms. I, I mean, they could be handguns if you're a complete sinner, but we also have the swords, which he can hold as, like, one big sword. Which just doesn't work. So what I do is, he just holds them as as uh, two swords. So if I just get this into his hand, like so. There we go. Try not to break the peg. So now he can do wheel swords. Like a, a proper badass. Like so. Unfortunately I don't see any ports for like the slashing kind of blast effects. But still. I like how this looks. So yeah. Plus, we've got the uh, port on his, uh, well, you know, for the uh, the flight stand. Something just... So I can get him into, like, a cool flying, slashing pose. Which I might do for the thumbnail. And while putting him with his uh, evil counterparts, 
you can definitely see how the colors are a bit different, and I'm not just talking about how he's in Jet Fight colors, but we can see how he's got some other uh, colors for his uh, for his shins here, some other colors for his uh, his turbines, his wings have some added colors, his shoulders have added colors. So yeah. Even yeah, the only thing is the uh, yellowing does sort of uh, bring it down. It's like someone spilled. It's like someone spilled eggnog on them or something. I know it's a bit late for a Christmas uh, a reference, but still, that's what it looks like to me. But, anyways, for articulation, if I can just remove the swords. Well, it's just like Seed Starscream, so his head's on a ball joint, so he can look up, he can look down, he can look around. His, his arms can move, although you know, the wings do sort of get in the way. He's got elbow joints, bicep rotation. You can T-pose, wrist rotation, the wings can go back, they can go up so you can display the wings how you wish, depending, depending on your shelf space, waist rotation, legs go up that far, back not really that far. Got knees, like really good knees. Plus, if you push this in, well, you can have it go in a bit further. Which, I mean, seriously, any transformer of a really good uh, knee joint is definitely a plus for me. Plus, he's got the little gap fillers, which. Even if they are yellowing, like this one here, which is probably not noticeable on camera. I mean, it's very rare that a Transformer has official, like, gap fillers. So this is definitely appreciated. And this was back in Siege. We're in, like, Legacy Year 2 now. Like, we're in e Legacy Evolution now. And I can't think of another Transformer, aside from Siege Starscream, who has official gap fillers like this. Anyways, you can do the splits, sort of an ankle pivot, although not enough to do that fun pose. Of course, this can swivel. So, yeah. And his, uh, if you want, you can actually plug in some uh, ports here because they are the boosters and the jet boat. So, well, normally I do like laser feet. This time, let's do rocket feet because this could actually work. Like, I don't know, he's like propelling himself. Plus, he he does also have some ports on him. Like on his arms, his shoulder, his legs. So he's like getting shot up by, well, uh, not Megatron, because him and, because uh, Starscream and Megatron are friends in Shy Glass, but I guess he's getting shot up by Goldbug, I guess. Then there are some ports on him, which I kind of wish I didn't phase these out, because these are fun. Although this isn't really going on, so maybe they molded this a bit too. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I I wish they didn't um, phase out these little, uh, I guess, blast effect spots and the actual figures themselves because these are fun. You can make the because like you can, you can make Starship look like he's getting shot at, like. Pshaw! 
Okay, I'm having too much fun here. But yeah, like, they started phasing these out around, like, what, the end of the kingdom? Yeah, I'd say that we bring these back, because these were fun. So, yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say about this guy. So if I just give him his uh, swords back. So, complaints. Well, of course, the yellowing. That is my biggest gripe with this guy. I mean, come on. It's... It's not even something that you can avoid because, like, you can just get this guy out of the box and he's yellowed. I even heard that the recent Shattered Glass Sandway figure's yellowing, which, as as someone who's wanting to try and collect the Shattered Glass toy line, that's a huge bummer. <sighs> oh well. But aside, like, that's just my, in fact, I think that's my only gripe, because aside from that, I, I actually quite like this figure. Like, sure, this guy might be entirely piss yellow by the end of this year. But, aside from that, I quite like this figure. I mean, like, the added swords. It added swords, the posability from Siege Starscream. Like, it just makes me uh, love this figure. Even if the swords are really hold together that well in the uh, the combined mode. But yeah. So do, do I recommend this figure? If you're not a fan of the yellowing, then yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you can look past the yellowing, or if you're looking to collect the Shadow Glass toy line, then sure. I mean, you might have ways to remedy the yellowing if you like. Like, of course, you might. Uh, well, of course, I'm like a huge uh, moron, so I have no idea how to stop yellowing. But uh, you might do, you might not. I don't know. But for me, it's annoying, but. It's in a place where I can just ignore it. Sure, it might uh, yellow over time, but still, I quite like how this looks, so... Yeah, I like how this figure looks. Plus, the swords uh, make it even cooler, in my opinion. <laughs> so yeah, this has been my review on Shattered Glass Starscream, and this is Charlie Young, signing off.